One policy that might create middle class jobs that I think is often forgotten has to do with restrictions on, on entry into getting a job. In particular, a lot of um, different professions require a license from the government. So certainly there's some areas where you might want the government to, to regulate and license. For example, for doctors. But do you need that for every single aspect of healthcare professionals? Uh, for some of the support services. Many states have a lot of requirements making it very difficult to get jobs to be dental hygienists or to provide other uh, support services in, in healthcare. And, uh, and so some states it's very difficult to, to get in. So it's very hard to be able to get a job in these areas. These are good, solid jobs. And I think one of the things that we could do is to try to harmonize the regulations across the different states look at what different states do, try to use cost-benefit analysis to try to see where is it better to have a little bit more regulation and where it doesn't really pay off to have all that much more regulation. And I think that would be very helpful in promoting jobs. If we look at the studies that have tried to figure out, well, what's the consequence of this occupational licensing? We find that first, it tends to raise prices because it restricts entry and so effectively creates a cartel. There are fewer people who can enter to uh, provide that service. But unfortunately, the second thing that most of the studies find is virtually no improvement in the, uh, in, in the outcomes. Quality is no better. Uh, the, uh, the variety of services uh, that are offered are no better. So it seems to be something that uh, may help the few people who can get the jobs in the area, creating a higher value for them and so a higher wage for them, but for the consumers it doesn't create as much and it doesn't create as many jobs. And so I think rethinking occupational licensing, using cost-benefit analysis, trying to learn from what has worked most effectively across the states would be a very big step forward. Something that I also like about this is this is not a partisan issue. Uh, this is an issue that many University of Chicago professors have talked about for a very long time. Sam Peltzman for decades has been talking about these kinds of issues. So many people on the, uh, the Republican side and on the right have talked about this. In the last year of the Obama administration, the Council of Economic Advisors put out a paper on exactly this issue and said we need to rethink this, we need to use cost-benefit analysis, we need to learn from the states to try to get the most bang per buck because we can generate more jobs and we can provide more services at no lower quality for probably lower, uh, lower price. So this can be a win for both the consumers and for the, uh, the workers.